Hey there, I'm Amber Brook, checking things out at Gwinnett Tech for TechHead TV. Gwinnett Tech offers hundreds of programs. Today, we'll be working under the lights. It's college, TechHead style. Yeah. I'm here at Gwinnett Tech looking for Dr. McDreamy and learning about a career in surgical technology. Now, everything I know about life in the OR I learned from Grey's Anatomy, but luckily program director T.C. Parker is here to tell us what it's really like being a surgical tech. Hey, T.C., how are you? Hey, Amber, how are you? I'm good, how about you? Very good, thanks. Awesome, so, so what is this? What are you doing here? Well, I'm getting ready to give a class on uh, suturing. Okay. And um, what we have here is a laparoscopic trainer, and this is uh, used for laparoscopic procedures. Uh, lapar laparoscopic procedure is an, a minimally invasive procedure where we go in and do procedures through small incisions versus cutting the patient all the way open. <laughs> okay. It's much better for the patient. Um, it's harder for the, the search tech because they have a lot more technological uh, things to learn and a lot more uh, cords, a lot more stuff for them to have to handle. But right. it, it does prepare them for the real world. Let me show you. Oh, okay. Um, when we practice the suturing, mm -hmm. uh, this is definitely something that the surge techs do. They can help the, the surgeon close. Um, we usually close skin. The surgeon will close the other layers, and when, when he gets to skin, he'll or she will um, let the surge tech finish up. Okay. And so you leave a little bit of the tail of the suture at on the opposite side of the incision and you'll wrap it around three times, grab the tail, pull it through and then rock it back and forth until you get the desired tension to help close. Um, this is an interrupted stitch so what I'm going to do is cut it here. If we did a continuous stitch I would just keep going. All right. Um, but an interrupted stitch is a much sturdier stitch. So I'll let you try. All right. Okay. So uh, what does a surgical technologist do? Um, the main job of a surgical technologist is to actually set up for a sterile procedure. They scrub gown and glove, set all the instruments up, and get ready to drape the patient. Um, they're a sterile team member and usually operate right across from the surgeon and hand him instruments as he needs. All right. So uh, what's everybody's favorite class, would you say? I would say SUR 101 is their favorite class because it actually gets them involved in learning how to get up to what we're doing now. What you just did is a senior quarter uh, student All right. activity lab, and we do that in the state. Actually, that's pretty good. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so in your opinion, what's the grossest thing that you have to work on? Um, feet. Feet. Yeah. <laughs> An issue with feet yeah. or just... I don't, I'm not a feet. Oh, you're just not a foot, uh -uh. foot person in general. So have you ever felt sick in the... Mm -mm. No? Not, not at all. Not at all? I think I have a stomach for it. So tell me about the facilities. We have a great facility here. It is um, a mock setup of a real live OR suite, which is two ORs and a bank of scrub sinks and a substerile room in between. Okay. Um, and actually we're on the Gwinnett County Registry for emergency uh, facility in case there is an emergency that they need a facility to do minor procedures. I wouldn't want to do brain surgery in here, but a little minor procedures I wouldn't mind we'll be doing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you like the program? Oh, I love it. It's awesome. Good. It's awesome because uh, some of the things that uh, we are taught uh, when I uh, compare and contrast our uh, level of learning with uh, those who are in similar program. Mm -hmm. You know, we are complemented by the doctors, by the nurses. When you walk through the hall and they uh, see our ID badges that says Gwinnett, they said, you know, I wanted to go to Gwinnett. <laughs> That's awesome. So it, it is awesome. So describe the perfect surgical technology student. Amber, the perfect surge tech is very focused, um, is a neat freak. Okay. Has a place for everything, um, is very organized, has a, the propensity to learn a lot of information and then pass that on into their hands. So they have to be book smart, mm -hmm. but they also have to be able to apply that knowledge that they're learning to their hands. And sometimes our, you know, our A students are not always our best scrub techs. Uh, sometimes the A students are so 
you know, bogged down with the book, smart, book smarts of it mm -hmm. that they can't, you know, scrub themselves out of a paper sack. So <laughs> we want that student that can do both, you know, has, has a, you know, propensity for, for reading and, and comprehension, but also to apply it to their hands as well. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, I really appreciate it. I'm going to let TC and her students get back to work and back to studying, and we'll be right back with you in a minute. Thanks to all of our friends here at Gwinnett Tech. I'm Amber Brooke, and we'll catch you next time on TechHead TV.